Okay, yesterday we had uh, we began the Mishnah of we were going through the various people who are not allowed to marry into the Kahal Hashem. So we began we we, we discussed Pitsua Daka and Krush Shavcha who are not allowed to Kahal Hashem. We got to the Mishnah that said Loyovay Amun Moyav the Kahal Hashem and Mitzri first two generations not third generation yes, and then we had a machlokis whether the female mitzvah is permitted immediately or not. The Rabbi Shimon wanted to make a kal v'chaymer, madoch, a mitzri, uh, amun Moav, who is never allowed, the male issue is not allowed, but the female is allowed right away. Certainly the mitzri where the zachar, if the th- uh, two generations, the third is permitted, certainly the female should be right away. And the uh, Tanakama retorted, if it's a Kabbalah, Allah, I should be seen, I will accept it. If not, we have a question on your Kavachaymer. That was the Mishnah. The Gemara then said, how do you know, in fact, that the female issue of Amon and Moav are permitted? And we got into this fascinating conversation that transpired between Avner and the Doeg HaAdomi. And we concluded kind of that, well, Doeg retorted, well, Mamzeris should not be also be permitted. And they went to, and they, they went to the, the Bezdin and Yisra HaYisraeli, also known as Yisra Yishmaeli, he took a sword he, and, and he said, who, he drew his sword and he said, whoever goes ahead and is cholik on this will go ahead and be stuck with this. Kach mukabloni bezden shel shel shmul ramasi mo'avi lo mo'aviya amoni v'lo amonis that the female issue is permitted. So the Gemara starts off with a fascinating question. It says that how could a bezden paskin based upon something that they have their own negias. In other words, this person, this, this is based upon Tosa's interpretation. Yisra was married to Avigail Bas Nachash. Nachash, as we said yesterday, Nachash, as we said yesterday, was, was Yishai, who only died because of the advice of the Nachash, because of the original Chet. So therefore, <clears throat> he was married to a woman. If he, she wasn't allowed to call Hashem, then his children would be of questionable lineage. So he had everything to gain by this psak going in his favor. So the Gemara, we pick it up over there on Ayin Zayin Amid Beis, Amid Aleph, Ayin Zayin Amid Aleph, two, four, six, seven lines down. Umi Mehimin, is the really believed, Umi Mehimin, are you really believed? The first word on line Mehimin is in fact one believed. Ve'omarav Abba Omarav, kol Talmud Chacham, Shemoira Halacha, any Talmud Chacham who is Moira Halacha Uba, Im Koy the Maisa Amra, if they said it, they gave the Psak, and then the Maisa came, Shaymin Loy, you'll go ahead right and listen to it. The Im Lav, but if the Maisa comes, and then ain't Shaymin Loy. So again, according to Tosa's interpretation, Yisra, Ayn Zayin Amin Aleph, Yisra is giving a Psak for his favor. In other words, he didn't mention anything. Oh, punct, all of a sudden this comes up. Says the Hocha, the Shmuel Shmuel and Bezdin, they were around. In other words, they were around to ask. So there'll be no Shaila that the Psak was for this person's Nagias. Meaning they would ask them and say, So when was this Psak come about? And in fact, I told you yesterday, it's so fascinating. This Psak. Is a is, is not is is a halacha l'moish miyusinai kach mikubloni the lashon of Kabbalah mi bezdina shel shmuel and ramasi. This question of the lineage of David's mishpacha was sent to Shmuel, and his answer was Megillas Rus. His answer was Megillas Rus. Megillas Rus is the tshuva to the question whether what you're permitted or not. As I said, the Medr says that Why was it written? It was written only for the chesed that transpired between Naomi and Rus and, and Boaz, the chesed that transpired. And in addition, to go ahead and at the end, we get the whole lineage right of from, Ze, from Peretz all the way through from Yehuda all the way through to David. That's why it was written. Now, I don't, the bottom line is, this is, this is really nice. So the Gemara wants to know, Nikol Mokam Kasha. Okay, you have the Bezdin giving a psak. But Lechora, he has a very good question. Why, in fact, or if you're telling me I'm of, uh, uh, you're telling me not the female issue, then Mamzer Mamzeres, what's the chilik between Moavia 
and Amonis and Mamzeres, where Mamzeres is not permitted, where the other ones was. So it's Doeg's question. So in Komach and Kasha, so it's by, we're holding by the Aleph there in, in the back. It says, Bavel, this is the following way. Kolkfuda basmelech pnima. The kolkfuda basmelech pnima. What does that mean? That the, the covet of, of, the, of, of, of the female woman is in the house. So it was unexpected for the, win, the women of Moab to come out, nor the, the women of Kalyasol to come out. Therefore, they were doeg's taina, that the woman, the men should take care of the men, but the woman should have taken the woman. There's no expectation of the woman of Moab to go, in, go out and, and greet them and, and, and ask for anything. And therefore, that refutes Doeg's question that the females should have gone ahead and taken care of the females. That was in Eretz Yisrael. The Marova Amri, and in the West, they said, meaning in, in Babel, they said, in, in Eretz Yisrael, excuse me, Marova is Eretz Yisrael. Eretz Yisrael, West of Babel Amri, beat him Rav Yitzhak, Amakra, Vayomru. A love, aye sorry shtecha. Where is sorry your wife? Okay, we're going to get back to this. What, this ambiguous answer of where is sorry your wife? Okay, so this caused the chayra. This caused the answer. The answer is that where is sorry your wife? He neighbor oil. She's boil. Okay, so that's this. We're going to get back to it. We have a very very gishmakim shot, guys. That was good eye to, to come on to here today. Okay, says the more kitanoi. It's machlokas tanoi. Where we learn it from. It's the way for a man to greet a man and a woman to greet a woman. David says, You have gone ahead and opened up my Sarah, the, the binds of an animal, like the Messira is the reins of an animal. That means, in other words, you, you unbound me. David thanks to Kaddish Baruch for taking off two, two bonds on him. Two moisters that are upon me, them. You went ahead and you opened up. What are the two things that are upon me? Rus Hamoavia, Hamonis. Okay, Rus was obviously David's great grandmother. Rus had uh, Oved, Oved had Yisha, Yisha had David, and Nama Hamonis. Nama was married to Rechavam, who in fact was David's anical, was David's grandson. She was married to Shlomo. Says Gemara, Darish Rava, my dech siv. She was married to, uh, yeah, she was married to, Rech- Rech- she wasn't married to Shlomo, she was married to Rechavo. Uh, Rech- I keep on saying Rechavo. Yeah. But now I'm honest. Darish Rava, my dech siv, Rabbis Asisa Atah Hashem Elokai, Niflai Secha, Machshavoy say, Eleinu, your Machshav is upon on us. Elai Loi Nemar, it doesn't say on me, Ela Eleinu, on us. Who is David speaking to? Who's the us? Malamit Shahaya Rechavam Yoshev Bechek Shal David. Rechavam was sitting on David's lap. Amaloi. So David said to Rechavam, Alaiva Alecha, upon me you, Nemesh Nemek Rois Halalu. It said what? These two psukim. These two psukim, the Pasuk of Amoin Vloyo, Amoyavi Mlovi is going on me, and and Amoin Vloyo Mavis is going on you, right? Going on you. So Dorish Rav, my dech siv, oz amarti hine basi be megillah sefer, kos of a lie. Says David, then I oz amarti hine basi. I came in megillah sefer is written on me. I'm a David. I ni amarti ata basi. When I was anointed king, I was told. Oh, I fe- felt now I found out I'm the king. Just now, upon my anointment, I found out I'm the king. V'lo yadati, I did not know she megillah sefer that in sefer bracious guys megillah sefer that in sefer bracious kos of Fly. Uh, <clears throat> it's written, in other words, it, it wasn't stated now that I became king. Already way back in Safe Liberatius, it was stated I was king. Vushtetos. It says, Hanim uh, Sois, the daughters that are found, the Malachim are destroying Sidom. They tell Lot, take you and your wife and the daughters that are found by you, that you know they were living in your house, and get out of here. Hanim Sois. It says Hasam Ksiv in Save Abrashis and in Sois. Hacha Ksiv David wrote, but Sasi David Avdi. David writes that. Now, where is the Rucha Kodesh? David's writing that on himself. So you look at Rashi, look at Tysus, guys. Hacha Ksiv Matsasi David. Afabisha David Atzmai, um, Radav himself said, Rucha Kodesh. You see from here, when a person speaks Rucha Kodesh, they don't know what they were saying. By the Akeda, Avram Avinu says, 
we will go when Ashur we will return. How could he possibly know that? He thought he would bring him as a korban. How do we know? So he said, Baruch HaKoydash, he was speaking. Okay? So we see that that this this whole Kesha that goes back to Sodom. So this on the words, Metzosi David Avdi, there's a Medrash that says, Hey, so where did you find David? You found him in Sodom. So what's the Kesha? So I'm very, if I could say, I'm pretty proud of myself, guys because I was able to, check this out, I was able to get the Hebrew books and post this, even though it's still on the Hebrew books. So here's this, I, I just, I'm proud of myself. I, I, let me just see if it works out. Anyway, if this is speaking about Metzosi David Avdi, I found David, my evidence to doing. So I'll, I'll read you, this is from the Kedushi Harim guys. The Kedushi Harim was the Gera Rebbe, the first Gera Rebbe. So he says, Amoni v'lo Amonis, Moav v'lo Moavis, Luparach. Mitzri, this is, goes to the conversation. This is our Gemara. Uparach Mitzri v'lay Mitzri is a Mishani Shani Hacha. The Mefarish time in the Kra. Al Derech Hashem like Kodmu Esnem Balechem. Uvemayim Darka Shalish Lekadem v'lay Darka Shalish Lekadem Uparach Hoylem Lekadem Anoshim Likras Anoshim Anoshim Likras Anoshim Umasik Kol Pudu Bas Melech Pnima the Marava Amru Vayomu Alav Ayes Sarish Techa. So that's what that is. That is our. Now let me just see if I can. There's the problem. If I can't get this going up, I won't be able to read it. Rabbi, why don't you just make it smaller? Take that 222% and make it 100. It'll shrink it, and then we'll be able to see the bottom. Yeah, because, because I don't know what I'm doing. That's why. Now you can see this, right? Let me, it moves up. No. Okay, we'll have to make it a little smaller. Let's make it a little smaller. Rabbi, yeah. we're, we're still proud of you. Okay, listen, I'm going to make it bigger and smaller, as, so you'll be very proud of me. Okay, so now... So there we have this we have this Gemara now. I am Sean. Behine. Kalat Solas Melech Sidon. Hoya Bishvil Sh Kalat Solas Loit Shabi Sidon. Hoya Bishvil Shi Yotsimi Menu David. That what? That David should come out from him. Right? The whole hot soul of Loit from Sidon is that David should come from him. Kid Kidemedrishanal. Balze Kosha. Halay Kosov Layova Yamani Mavi. Dana Roy Klalova de Kal. So how in the world, guys, Moav. Right, Amon. How could it begin? How could it begin? How could we go ahead and begin with Moab? It says in the Torah, How could the lineage of David begin at all? Right? Because the the whole reason is the heter of the isha. We make the Hamalach, guys, listen to this. The Malach. The Chiddush Shirim says a Malach is not able to do anything. The Malach is not able to do anything until there is a Haskama with the Bezin Lemata. When he went to save Light, he had to ask Avram, in other words, how do you know, in fact, that it's not the way for a woman to go out and greet? You only know because it says, Aye sorry, where is sorry your wife? Oh, once it's sorry is in the tent and she's not supposed to come out. Therefore, the women aren't supposed to come out to greet the woman. Therefore, the Malach could go ahead, what? And save Lot. And the Mela, Hecha Matzi, David Avdi, Bisidoim. I found him in Sidoim with the answer. What did the Gemara say today, guys? Aye Sarishtecha. Bimarova Amri, Aye Sarishtecha. It's the answer of Aye Sarishtecha that caused Lot to be saved. Because without that, you would not, you'd say, and there won't be a difference between male and female. The difference only comes about when once they ask the question, then they could say, Lloyd, hey, David Avdi, where did I find David, my, my, my king? I found him in Sidoim, as I state in Chadush Yarim, a beautiful way to explain our beautiful Gemara, the cryptic of what that means, and and where do I find David my Eved? 
I found them in Sidon. Beautiful Kedush Yerim. Absolutely fantastic. But you can only appreciate it in the context because you have all the Gemaras. You know, we just did this and we have, we're seeing it on the page. I've said it over many times. So people, they kind of like, you know, but once you learn it on the page, it's, it's here. It's beautiful. And how it fits in because we have two words that are cryptic over here. We have the Ayes, the What does that mean? And and Medrash, Heikim Matzah Dovid Avdi, B'Sidoim. What do you mean I found Dovid in Sidoim? Now you understand how I found Dovid in Sidoim because they were saved, and they were saved as a result. Ayes Sarvish Techa. Okay, the next next piece of Murray is a bit challenging. Lazy, Lazy, did you post that? What? Did you it's post that? Or you... It's, it's, it was, no, I didn't post it. it it's, uh, I don't know how to do that. I just want, oh, okay. I don't have it. I went to Hebrew books and I, and I drew oh, it up. Okay. That's why I was so proud of myself. Okay. I mean, not totally proud because I didn't have a shrink it, but a little proud. <laughs> so anyway, bottom line is you get to see it inside. You, the you, you didn't have to shrink it. On, on the side, there was a, there was a little um, notch on the side. You could just scroll down, just pull that. Yeah, I tried. It didn't work. It didn't work? Oh, okay. Yeah, I did try. I was getting a bit click. Okay, it didn't work. Okay, anyway. So the Gemara now, we know that an Amon can't marry Bikal Hashem, right? So we're now going to go through a Gemara about marrying into Kuna, about a Giyoris marrying into Kuna. Now, we know a Giyoris herself is us to a Kayin. A Giyoris has a din of a, of a Zaina. She's us to a Kayin. What about if a Giyoris marries a Ger? Can that child marry a Kayin? And the answer is yes. If an Amon marries an Amonis, guys, if it, from Amon marries an Amonis, can Lechaira, that child also can marry because they are permitted. A Ger from Amon is a Ger. We just can't marry him. What happens if a ger from Amoin is with a Jewish woman? Can that child marry a Kayan and a Karanat? So, in other words, that was an Issa. That was an Issa, because again, he's uh he's he's not she's not supposed to marry him. He's a ger, she marries him. That can, can that child marry him to Kahuna? Believe it or not, that child can marry into Kahuna. Again, at the end of this daf, guys, here's the bottom line: a bas, a daughter. That's from the union of an Amoin and a F Jewish woman is permitted to call Hashem, despite the fact that the Bia was the Avera, despite the fact that Bia was the Avera. So that's our, our, our aim over here in Blackboard is figuring this out, okay? So here we go. Am Rabbi Yechnon, Bas Ger Amoni, Kishev Lekahuda. The daughter of a Ger from Amoin is Kasha Lekahuna. Right now, the Havamina guys were holding is it's a male and a female from Amoin. So there's no issue whatsoever. It's a, a, a male, the male issue from Amoin, a female issue from Amoin, who's, who's allowed, and the male, if he's Megayer, is allowed to an Amoinus, and that child will be kosher. That's the Havamin of the Gemara. Amalei Rav Bar Ula Ula. Kiman, who are you saying this according to? Who, Rabbi Yochanan, you the Amoy Rabbi Yochanan, which Tana are you going in accordance with? And he's going to quote two Tanoim from the Sechta Kedushin. Kiman. Ike Rabbi Yehuda, the daughter of a ger zachar is like the is like the daughter of a chal zachar, meaning the child is not allowed in. So obviously you can't be going to Yehuda. The Ikar Rebbe who says the child is allowed in, pshita. What, what what's your chiddush? In other words, he says that a, a bas ger zachar kibas chal zachar is permitted. Ha'amar af ger shenasa giyaris pita kisher lekuhuna. It would not seem to be a chiddush. Guys, watch. Guys, look at me. Regular ger, regular giyoris come together, child permitted to kahuna. No problem. Ger amoin, ger amoinis, permitted, child kahuna. Notice, what's the difference between the two? What's the difference between the two? Now, the obvious difference is a ger from amoin can't marry a Yisraelis. A regular ger, not from Amon, could. So therefore, the says, so what's your chiddush over here? Rabbi Yochanan, you're telling me that an Amon with Amonis is permitted? What, it's no, if you're going according to Rabbi Yossi, a regular ger with a regular ger is permitted. So who are then a regular Amon with a regular Amonis is permitted? Ava, says Gemara. So the key tema, if you're going to suggest, v'hanach dira'uyin lavoi b'kahal, when is that that child of the year is permitted? That's one that's permitted to come to Kal Hashem. Aval hai, but the male issue of Amoy. The ain roi lovey be kahal, who's not roi to come to kahal, loy, right? 
even though they have done nothing wrong. They are full-fledged Jews. Yet, since the male can't marry in, the child can't, is possible kahuna, minole, where do you know that a union that can't come in, the child will be puzzle? I said, no problem. The Yolif Mikoyin Gadol Be'amana. Hey, an Amoyin with a Yisraelis is a no-go. A Koyin with a Amana, Koyin Gadol with Amana is a no-go. The Koyin Gadol with Amana, the child is the Chalala. So who are they over here? This child would be a Chalala. And therefore, she won't be able to marry a Koyin. So that's my distinction. That's my distinction. Mal, what are you going to ask? Mal a Koyin Gadol Be'amana, she can be Asay Be'avera. Guys, when an Amoin, when a coin Gadol is with a, a, an Amana, that's a lav. That relations is, is an Isser, is a sin. When an Amoin is with an Amoinus, which is a Havamina, when an Amoin is with an Amoinus, there's nothing wrong. So maybe the coin of Gadol of an Amana, you know why it's the Betraz of Halala? Because the Bia was of Issa. Masha Enkein Amoin by Amoinus, there's no Bia of Issa over there. So therefore the child is permitted. So again, what's the Chiddush of Rabbi Yechanan by saying an Amoin by Amoinus, the child is, is permitted to Kuna. You don't have a source to make a Chilik. Says the Gemara, one second, I do have a source. Chalol Yechiyach. A Chalol, who ma- can a Chalol marry Bas Yisrael? A Chalol. A, a Koyin is with a Gerusha, an Amon is with a Koyin Gadol. The child is a Chalol. Can he marry a Yisrael? Yes. Is the child a chalo? Yes. So therefore, very good. I got, I, I'll show you that even when the bia is what is permitted, even when the bia permitted, the child is what is no good. So who are din ama vaimonis? Even though the bia is permitted, I'd say the child is no good. He can't marry the kuna. Says I'll ask you a question. The chalo, his formation was ba'avera. He came about as a result of ba'avera. Says the Gemara, okay, we, we've been through this many times, this limit. I'm just going to just go, go iterate over here. It's, 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 it's good to know. The most simplest way to learn something is called the Memetzino. I find something, I buy one thing, I'll apply it by another thing. If I don't have any difference, the Memetzino will go through. The littlest difference will stop the Memetzino. So we started with Memetzino, just like you find the Kohen Gadol. We want to prove that what, if a Bia is Bia, it doesn't work. So, that, so therefore, if, it, if it, I can have a beer that, that they're permitted, the, the beer that doesn't work. So now, we started off, so Mela, Amen, you have two Giyorim are together, child should be permitted in. I, so Amen, Omov, child should be permitted in. Says Gemara, what are you talking about? Mala Amen, Omov, maybe, why? Because he's not allowed to marry Yisrael. So, so Gemara wants to know, where do you know that if you do an Avery, the child's not allowed in? Right? says, well, well, you learn from Koyin Gadol to Almana. You're doing a very Charles, not a lot, lot, not a lot in, right? Where do you, so, the, so the Gemara says, but one second, on that Mehmet Sinu that you want to find from, from Amoin doing an Avera to Koyin Gadol doing an Avera, right? We find the Koyin Gadol is what? Right, that his Bia is Be'isr. Mashain Kain an Amoin Vamoinis, there isn't an Isser. Says the Gemara, well, Chalol, there's no Isser, yet you're not allowed in, Right? Says the Gemara, well, Chalal, he's, he's not so kosh of Yasha because he was formed by Avera. He was formed with the union of Avera. So you'll go back, Koyin Gadol would disprove you. In other words, I'll pay ping pong back and forth to Tzad Shaba. I can learn out from one, but I can learn out from two. So I, I want to prove that Amoin by Amoin is no good because I want to learn out from Koyin Gadol. I can't. I can't learn it from Chalal, but from maybe between the two. Says the Gemara, here we go. Says the Gemara, Koyin Gadol Yachichem, Bechazer Adin. And we'll put the, this, this din of Amun Mora back into the following din. Loi Rize Krize, the denominators that the, the common denominator between Koyin Gadol Amona is not similar to what to Amun, it's not similar to Cholol. Loi Rize Krize, nor is Cholol is compared to Koyin Gadol. At Sarah the common denominator between Cholol and Koyin Gadol, She'ene Broiv Kahal, it's not by Rev Kahal, or Bita Psula. And the daughter's puzzle. Afkan sheinu b'rov kahal amen v'amoy. This is b'tay pesula. Okay, let's see Rashi over here. Hatzada shavu shabehen sheinu b'rov kahal. So I'd say it's about twelve lines up. Hatzada shavu shabehen sheinu b'rov kahal. Eina kishar rov Yisrael. This, these two things are not like rov Yisrael. The kohen gadol with the amana, and the chalol is not like rov Yisrael. Why? Shor yesh bekul and sad pogum. In each one of them, there's epis something nishkashedik. Koyin Gadol be Yosei What's the not not 
the pogum to part about the coin gado is the fact that what him living with the alman is an avera. Cholol, what's the problem with the cholol? It's hirasei ba'avera. He was formed al yedei avera, correct? Through he was either a model kain gadol or grusha rechalutz kain hedyet. Amoyni ain't a roi lovei b'kahal, and amoyni is not permitted in the kahal. So in meila, I'd say be a psula and and the and the chiddush of and the chiddush of yechron that what it would be kasha. Says the gemara. Well, I got a question. You tzad shava. Says my tzad my tzad shava should be back in the gemara four lines up. You have a tzad veira. The kohen gadol is the bia. The chol wad is the is his yitzira, and the mashain came by the minus. Right? There's no there's no there's no problem. So therefore, it's pachet that is kasha. And therefore, back to the original question: What's Rabbi Yechon's chiddush? Again, you want to learn out amoin from kohen gadol and and uh, chalol. You can't amoin amoinus. There is no avera. By like Kohen Gadol is an Aveir in the Bia, by the Chol is an Aveir in the way he was formed. So therefore, the Mem Sinu, the common factor is not a common factor. I have a discrepancy because I'm in Bamoyev. There is no, no common factor. Says Gemara, Dilma, may, okay, so now we have Micharat, the guys. Until now, we thought, again, the Havamina, always in learning, if you see Rashi says Salkadaitach, you better be able to answer that Salkadaitach or else you don't know the Gemara. So Rashi Salkadaitach was Amoin and Amoinus. No, no, no. We're speaking about Amoin and Yisraelis, where the beer was Baveira. You're speaking about not Amoin and Amoinus. You're speaking about male Amoin, female Jew. Says the Gemara, oh, Dilma Amoni Shenasa Bas Yisrael Kamit. You're speaking about an Amoni that married a Bas Yisrael. Afagav the Biyase Baveira, and the Kiddush Rabbi Yechanan is, even though the beer is Baveira, Bita Kishera, the Bita is Kasha. This is going to remain, guys. This chiddush is going to remain. A ger from Amoin marries a Jewish woman. It's chayve lavim. You shouldn't marry. He's not lover b'kal Hashem. The child of that union would be what permitted to marry the kuna. Hear that? That's the chiddush, and that's the chiddush. So Amalei says, "In that's exactly it." The chiyosir at Ravin Amar Rabbi Yechonon. When Ravin came from Bavel from Eretz Yisrael, he said in the name of Rabbi Yechonon. When he came to Bavel from Eretz Yisrael, he said in the name of Rabbi Yechonon. Bas Ger Amoini, Ubas Mitzri Sheni, the daughter of a Ger Amoini, the daughter of a Mitzri Sheni, they would be permitted, even though they were not permitted to marry a Jew, neither one. The Amoini Oilam, the Ger Mitzri, is the second generation, you need the third generation. None of the fact they can't marry in, nonetheless, they'd be Kasha. Veshlokasham Absula, and Veshlokasham would say it's possible. Veshlokasham Absula, why? The Yolif Mikoyin Gadol Ba'amana. Guys, once you have a B of an Avera, it creates a Chalola. So just like a Koyin Ba'amana is Chai Ve'lavim, it would create a Chalol. So who are din? A Gera, Moyin Ibi Yisrael, would create a Chalol that was not, they could not marry the Gehuna. That's, that's the Rebbe Shlok. It's very easy. Rabbi Yerchen Omar, Rabbi Yerchen says, Kshera Amid Beis. Rabbi Yerchen says, Kshera Amid Beis. The Tani Rav Zakai Kameda Rabbi Yechanan. Rav Zakai said in front of Rabbi Yechanan that this is a little hard, guys. This is a little hard. We're going to make an inference. Again, the inference is that a Yis- uh, uh, Amoini with a Yisrael the child will be kasha. Okay, that's going to be the inference. Now, Halt Cup. It says by the Kain Gadol, Ki in Besula me Amov Yikach Isha. From Besula, from among his nation, Yikach Isha, Lehevi. Says the Tanakama, Lehevi, Giyiris Mikana, Shehi Kashera, Lekahuna. A Giyiris from her Khan is Kasha Bikashera. Khan here means lesson of a base. Base like the, the Khan of the Mizbeah, of the Menorah, the Khan of the Kiar. This is a base. What it means is if you have the same nation, a Ger, a Ger, and a Giyiris, that that child would be permitted to go ahead, what? And marry in, as opposed to an Amoni be Israelis, not. Again, it had who is Kasha Lakahuna? It's Giyoris Mikana. They're similar. Ger and a Ger and Giyoris. Good. They're similar. Once they're similar, they'd be allowed in. Masha Enkin, a Ger from Amoin and a Bas Yisrael, that's not the same, they wouldn't be allowed in. Kim Suma Vikach, he, okay. Sheikh Sherlakuna. And Rabbi Yochanan said to him, to Rabbi Zakkai, 
Ani shoyne amav. I learned it could have said amav, but it doesn't say amav. It says me amav. Guys, anytime as mem it means miktsas, part of. Me amav lehevi besula habob emes amim to include a besula that comes from two different nations. She would be able to go ahead and marry Kohen Gadol. The at amit kiyoris mikana besuloi, and you want to say that what that only from the one same nation may now. My shnei amim, what does shnei amim mean? Ilema amoyni shenasa amoynis. Shnei amim means an amoyn va'amoynis, and why they call two amim? Who my shnei amim? This is chorim masurim and kevis mutarois. In other words, I can view the male issue of amoyn and the female issue as two separate nations because the male issue can't marry into kalashem, where the female issue could. Now, but you just said hainu giyoris mikana. Mikana means they're the same. So, in other words. Obviously, if the Tanakhama said the following, if the Damari said the following, and Rabbi Yochanan is saying this, it can't mean that he's speaking about Amoin v'Amoin. Because in other words, he can't, when Rabbi Yochanan said um, uh, two nations, it can't mean Amoin v'Amoinus as two nations. Why? Because the Tanakhama would agree with that. He said, as long as they're the same, they can marry into Kahuna. So whether it's a, gi- gi- a ger and a giyaris, ger amun and giyaris, they could marry in. So when Rabbi Yochanan said to amim, it can't mean amun va amun Of course, the Tana Kama would agree with that. And Rabbi Yochanan is in, in the business of disagreeing. I keep on saying Tana. I think it's it's an amoyva. Whoever said it, Rabbi Yochanan. Is... So now to say it's to amun, that means male and female. Hainu giyaris mikana ella. It must mean ba amoyni shenasa ba shisrol. It must mean you say it has to be the same. I say it doesn't have to be the same. That even if they're different, that's male Amoin, female Yisrael, that would be Ksheva. So that's the that's the inference over here. That's the inference. Okay. Well, again, what's the inference? Tanakama said in order to be married to Kuna, you have to be the same nation, meaning either Ger Giyoris, Amoin Vamoinis. So no, no. I said, may Amov, as long as it's part of your nation, meaning as long as one of them is okay, in this case, the Yisrael, the woman's okay, despite the fact that the husband is from Amoim, the child will be able to marry the Kahuna. It's may Amov, part of them and not all of them. That's the way. Now, the second Ik in the army is, it's, he says in Mephorish. The second Ik in the army, he says in Mephorish, but he says it like this, guys. He says it in, in an indirect manner. Over here, we inferred it in the Ikka the army. He's going to say it openly that a bas, a, a, a ger from Amai with a bas Yisrael is mutal kahuna. But he says it in a funny way. Listen, what he, listen to the Lushan. Ikka the army, Omale, Ani Shoyna Amav Me Amav, only part of them, Lehevi to include, Besula Haba Mishne Amim, a Besula that came from two Amim. What does that mean? From, from, uh, from a, a ger from Amoin and a Yisraelis, two separate Amim, Umeam Sheyesh Baishnei Amim, and the husband is himself from two Amim. How can your husband be yourself from two Amim? Because his wife is a female issue and she can marry in, and he's a male and he can't. So, what are you saying? That Am that I'm describing, the male that can come in, he himself is from two different nations. Guys, outside. I'm saying one thing. This Am can marry Israelis. They're two different nations. But this, this male, he himself is from two different nations. Who is the male that we're describing? A male from two different nations. It must be an Amoin, because he is not allowed, and a female issue is allowed. Yet, if he is with the Israelis from course, two nations, the child is Kasha. So in the Ikidi army, he openly said the child is Kasha. Okay, so now. The At Amit Giyoris Mikana Besuloi. The Ulahach Lishna. Now, according to this Lashen, according to this, according to this Lashen, right, in the Ikad the Amri, he's saying that it has to be from who's a permitted from two separate nations, right? Two separate nations, meaning it's from Amoin and Amoinus, meaning that the female and the male, the male, again, according to this Lashen, who is the, the Amoin? Amoin is that he's from two different nations. How's he from two different nations? Because the female is allowed in where the male is not allowed in. Now, how would you know that a Mitzri, that's where the Yisraelis would be permitted in? Because after all, the Mitzri is not two nations, because both the female and the male are Asa. 
Why? I'm only have a Mila, the females permitted by mitzvah up to the third generation, both are equal, says the Gemara. Well, the Lishna, according to the second Lashin, the child of a Mitzri Shani with Yisraelis is permitted. How do you know? The Chitem, you'll say the Yolof me Amoini, Shenosa Bash Yisrael, right? You'll say the following, just like Amoin is an Averit, to marry Bas Yisrael, if you do the child is Kasha, so to a Mitzri, if she marries a Bas Yisrael, the child is Kasha. What's the obvious question? Mala Amoin, that the female is permitted in. Good. Says the Gemara, Mitzri Shani, Shenasi Mitzris, Shnia Yachiach. A Mitzri Shani that marries a, 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 a Mitzri Shnia, they're both Asa, but the child is Mutter, Yachiach. I will say, Mala Mitzri Shani, Shenasa Mitzris, Shnia, Shakin Embiasa Bavera. I'm only Shenasa Bas Yisrael, Yachiach. In other words, you want to know that we're trying to learn a Mitzri Shani with a Bas Yisrael. So you can't learn it out from. From Amun Moav, maybe you learn that from a Mitzri Mitzri. You can learn that from Mitzri Mitzri, maybe you learn Amun Moav. So now, because there are din, we'll put it back in the Hapa, Lay Rizek Rizek, Sadashev said to him, it's a shot puzzle, and the Charles Kasha Lakuna, who I did over here. Amr Rabbi Yosef said, Rabbi Yosef, I heard the Shaman Lay Rabbi Yehuda, the Amru Amav Me Amav. I heard Rabbi Yehuda say that there's a lean wood to learn from Amav Me Amav. But lay it down in my karma, I didn't know. Until now, I know what it means. Amav Me Amav, as long as one of the Parents is Mayamov, the child's going to be Kasha. So, this is the Maskana, Rebbe Rebbe Yochanan. We're going to, again, we're going to continue, but this, he stays this course, guys, that a Amon of a female, a male Amon that marries a Yisrael, a male Amon that marries Yisrael, that you would think that the child is, is puzzle, in fact, is Kasha. Why? Because of a Limud, because it says, it could have said Amov, and it says May Amov, from Amov, it's okay. Piyasir of Shmuel by Yehuda Omar Hachi. He's going to say a cryptic three, three, three things, guys. And we're going to tell on the third thing we're going to disagree, because the third thing disagrees with Rabbi Yaichanan. The third thing he says is uh, uh, Amoin, that's what about Yisrael, the Charles Puzzle. The third thing he says that, that, that is Puzzle. So he says three things. The first two we'll agree with, the third one we won't. Okay, what well, he said three things. But, what, so what did he say? Hachi. This is what was said in front of him, in front of Rabbi Yochanan. In other words, we have Rabbi Zakai saying what was from the Rabbi Yochanan. Now we're saying what Rabbi Shmuel by Yehuda is reporting what was saying in front of Rabbi Yochanan. Okay? We have a different report about what transpired in the conversation with Rabbi Yochanan. It says the following. Isha Amoinus Keshera, that's the number one. Bino Me Amoini Puzzle, that's the number two. Who beat the Amoini Kesher is din number three. Again, first din, we're going to go over it again. Isha Amoini is Kesher, the Noma Amoini is Puzzle. Who beat the Amoini Kesher? The Medem Amamurim, when is this? Ba Amoin Ba Amoinis, Shinis Gairu, two Gairim from Amoin. Avo beat the Me Amoini Pesula. So Amalei, Paik Tony Lebra, said Rabbi Yechanan, take this outside. In other words, learn this outside the base Medrash, it's not true. Now, my, my the army, that that you said, Isha Amonis Kishera, it's true. Why? Amoni Vloy Amonis. That first thing you said is true. Anisha Amonis is Kishera, because we darshan Amoni Vloy Amonis. The second thing you said is also true. The no me Amoni Puzzle, the Amoni who? <laughs> they have a child, that child's from Amoni, he's not allowed to call Hashem. Guys, Amamza marries Amamzeris, the child's Amamza. It doesn't, it doesn't clear up. Amoni marries Amonis, the child is, is Amamza, it doesn't clear up. If it's a female, you're good. If it's a male, it's no good. It's, it comes out very odd. If it's a female, she can marry a Kain Gadol. <laughs> if it's a male, he can't come to Kal Hashem. It is fascinating. Amoin, Amoinus, marry each other, no problem. Child is a, a male, he's an Amoin, he can't marry the Kal Hashem. Child's a female, can marry the Kain Gadol. <laughs> it's fascinating, but that's it. Now, so the first two didn't you said are correct. Female issue, great. Son, puzzle. What's the next thing you did? Bita Ipsula, you said, right? If you're telling me the daughter of an Amoin is marrying the Kahal, if the mother can marry in the second generation, of course she can marry him. What's the Kiddush? Once the female is permitted, the daughter is also permitted. Ella must be the Kahuna. Now, the Spita is Kishera to Kahuna. When is that? The Medamah Amurim. When did you say the child is Kasha, the Kahuna? That's Ba'amoini, Ba'amoini, Shinis Gairu. 
meaning that they both have to be, uh, you know, geirim. Avo bita me'almoini psula, right? What does it mean? But bita me'almoini's puzzle. What does that mean? Bita from almoini's puzzle. You know what it's going to mean, guys? It's going to mean a bita yamoini from Abbas Yisrael, and that's where Rabbi Yochanan disagrees. It's going to be, guys. This is where he disagrees. It's going to be a, a, a moini with a, with a, a Jew bita psula. That's where Rabbi Yochanan will say, take that out of here because the halacha is kishera. Says the Gemara, "Avu bita me amoni psula, my bita me amoni ilay ma amoni shenas amoinis." If you're going to tell me what it's a, a female, a male, male moav, female moav, hayne giyaris mikana. That's a giyaris mikana, which we said is okay. El must be what amoni shenas abas yisrael, and amoni bas yisrael. And you're saying that what that the child is uh, is puzzle. Amalei poik toni lebra. Go take this outside. This doesn't belong here. So the maskana, fascinating Gemara. The thought, male issue of, of Moab that you're not supposed to call Hashem. This bia, this bia is ba'avera. This bia is ba'avera, meaning, meaning that, that this Bas Yisrael is not supposed to be living with this ger from Amoin. And you're going to learn and Rabbi Yechon and Rabbi Yishlakish learns that from Kain Gadol that the Charles of Chalol, just like an, 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 a Kain Gadol came out in Almana, the Charles of Chalol. Who had been an Ammonia, Yisrael, should marry the Charles of Chalot, says Rabbi Yechner and Avigazeris Akosov that it says, Ki in Besula me Amav Yikach, the Kain Gadol married Besula me Amav, I feel if one of the parents, meaning in this case the mother obviously is me Amav, because if it's a, I feel I'm on his Giyaris, this is fine, Fashtetzach good, not a problem, not this at all. Okay, very Gishmak, so that's the Maskana. Okay, let's go over the outside, let's go over the Mishnah again. And of course, we're going to focus on the last thing of Mad of Mitzri. Go back to the Mishnah on Ayin Vav Amin Aleph. Ayin Vav Amin Aleph. So we said, Amoni Moav Surim is Oilam, Avon Leknek Vesem Mutaris, the females of Mutam Yad. Mitzri Vyad Doimi Enam Asura Mela Ad Shlisha, three generations, Echad Zacham Ves on the Kavis, and then the Kavis are now permitted. If Shimon Mati Ves on the Kavis, if Shimon says, then the Kavis will be permitted Yad. By Amon, they're permitted. Miad, Malkam Shlayasur says the Chorim, Elad Shlaysh Doris, in the place by Mitzri, that's only for a few generations. Ain't a din is not a Kabbalahime, Shanat S and the Kavis Miad, that the Kavis should be permitted right away. That's what Pashtus is a great Kabbalahime. So Amulai, they told Rav Shimon, Im Allaha. If this is Allah Hamash Misinai in the Kabel, then we'll receive it and we'll agree that what that the female issue for Moab is permitted. Female, no, female, uh, excuse me, female mitzvahs would be permitted even before three generations. The Imladin, however, if this is your Kalva Chaimer and, and you're basing the Psak on this Kalva Chaimer, yesh Chuva. I have a question on your Kalva Chaimer. Guys, once you have a question on the Kalva Chaimer, it destroys the Kalva Chaimer. So Amalahem, so Rabbi Shimon said, Loi. Key, like key, halacha. I'm saying halacha. The Gemara is going to ask, what's the like key? And the Gemara is going to ask, what's the truth? So now we're filling in the blanks. We're filling in what's the question on the Kalva Chaimer and, what, and what's the retorter of Shimon like key. That's what we're filling in right now. Okay? Gishmak. Says back in the Gemara. Mitzri, back on Ayin Zaman and Beis. Mitzri avadoimi, ena asurim. Okay. Matshuva. Okay? The guys are learning. Vachula is always, you got to look that up. Look, we just missed the whole thing, right? Said two words that vechula, you get the word machuva. Makes no sense. You have to always the gemara is always going to go on the vechula. So what's the tshuva that the, the chachamim would tell Rav Shimon about his kavuchaimer? Am a rabba Rav Chana, am Rav Yochanan, mishum the ikul meimer. Aroya isechiach. Erva will show you that what you say is not true. Why? Shlei asa behem ella at shlei shadiris. You only asa guys. Shnias la royas is the rabbanon. Grandmother, grandson are permitted. Three generations are permitted. The third generation is permitted in, right? Your mother, you, and the third, it's permitted. Yeah, it's permitted. It's permitted. And nonetheless, in the first generation, it's also. So therefore, I'll disprove your, what's your kabbalah madach, what, so oilam is miyad, so third generation in it is miyad. Arayas yochiach, the third generation is permitted, and still in the cave is also miyad. So I'll ask you the following. Ayaris has at at the least, at the least, and maybe even more, it has a Nisakaris or Mrs. Bezdin. Masha Enkin in Mitzri is an assay, right? 
It's, it's a lava bamachal say, right? You're from the say that you can marry the third one, four when you can marry the first and second. So it's where mamza yechiach. Mamza will disprove you that what the mamza there is why it is not an isukaris. Ma'ala mamza is kain in a roy lava bikalo oilam. By shanking that. So a roy is yechiach that could come in. So now we're going to, you can't learn out from mamza. You can't learn out from, from a roy. So we're going to go back back into the, the tzad ha-shava. The chazar ad-din. Loi rizek, 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 rizek. Mamza is not like a roy. So it's not like mamza. The tzad ha-shava shabahem is sashun. Echad zahar and zekevis. Say the mamza is osir zahar and zekevis. A roy is zahar and zekevis. Afan the Avi, Mitzri Mitzri Shahaya Surim, Echad Zachar and Echad Mekavis. And that will be the Pircha on the Kavachayma of Reb Shimon. I have a Kashin. Now, Malat Sarah Shabbashayahen, again, Arroyos and Mamzer, Shekane Yesh Behem Tzad Koris. Where's the Tzad Koris by Mamzer? It created it. We had a Gemara earlier, right? Shimon Amsuni, I remember, where did, where's, according to Rabbi Akiva, Mamzeris is from Chayi Lavim. According to, according to Rabbi Yeshua, only from Chayi Vimis is Bezdin. From Shimon I'm Sunni, it's even from Fahad Fakai Vikaris. So in other words, you have it sad chorus. Good, there's no punishment of chorus marrying a mamza, but the 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 yitzira of the mamza was was Ali de Khoris. And the Arroyas, the B of Arroyas is Khoris. Mashain came by by uh, Mitzri. Again, Mitzri, there's no chorus. Guys, the Mitzri is mod is a is a lava bomb say. Third generation you can marry, we can for first two you can't. So therefore I can't learn that Mitzri from Mad from the Tsadashava of I can't learn Mitzri from the Tsadashava. Of, of uh, Mamzer and and Arayos. So the Chayra, since I can't learn it out, so that, that I've destroyed the Kavachayim. Therefore, the Kavachayim, so the Kavachayim is, is intact. In other words, Rav Shimon has des- destroyed the Pircha on my Kavachayim. So now Rav Shimon's Kavachayim is, fa- is, is impacted. So and therefore what? And therefore the but Mitzri should be able to marry right away. Because again, the question on your Kavachayim is this kind kasha. Says the Rabbanon who said it, it is an upslug. Guys, let's say a koyin is with a is with a nusa. She's not a basul anymore. She was an anusa or a mafuta, so she'd be permitted. I, I think so. Who holds that child will be a chalo. Okay, so let's see inside. Let's let's guys, let, let's do this outside. Let's see it inside. We have the kavachayim. What's the kavachayim? Rabbi Shimon's kavachayim. Madoch amoyin amoyin. That's us as oilam. The female is permitted right away. Mitzri, if it's not us, it's Oilam, the female should be permitted right away. Says the Chacham, I have a, I have a question on this Kalvachayim. Arroyas Tachiach, that even though Arroyas is permitted after two generations, the, 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 right away, the, right away, the, the female is, 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 is Asa. I will say Arroyas is in the Karis, so Mamsha Tachiach, Mamsha not in the Karis, yet it's Asa in the cave, is Asa right away. Maila Mamsha is what is, uh, the Gemara said, is, uh, it's not right, to belove kal Hashem, asenke mitzri. So our royus tochiach, the chazar din back and forth, right? They both they, they both have what? Not labor right? Kahal. So afani avi mitzri says the Gemara. Malat tzad shava shevahen. They have a tzad tzad of chorus. The royus the tzad of chorus is in the punishment. The mamza the tzad of chorus is in information. So therefore, mashen ke mitzri. There's no chorus whatsoever. So therefore, Rabbi Shimon's kavuchaymer is intact, and therefore. He, according to right now, we'd be holding that a mitzvah right away, the female mitzvah will be permitted right away. You don't have to wait three generations. The Rabbanon, who obviously hold the pircha is a good pircha, is because I could have the the assay, I could have the 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 the, the, the cholo, the, the could be speaking that's the, it's, it's speaking that there's not a tzad, tzad of, uh, uh, could be speaking there's not a tzad of, of chorus. It could be speaking what about an anusa. From a coin goddle. So let's pick it up a bit. Let's see back and forth. And we're going to say that we're going to say this according to Reb Shimon, Reb Lezben, Reb Yachna, Reb Lezben Go, go, where lines get wide, count down one, two, three, four, five lines down. So now we're going to go through what I just told you slowly and we'll see. Rabbanon. Rabbanon, the Ami Yesh Chuva, like the Rabbanon who questioned Reb Shimon's Kalvachaymer, Pachin and Leila Reb Shimon, Mechalol, the Chayvase, Kigoyim, that's a Chalol of the Chayvase, Kigoyim. Kain Godl Shinasa Anusa, I'm a footer. A Kain Godl marries an Anusa Mafuta, she's not a Basula. Shehi Alav, Base, Basula Yikach. For Loi Beula. The Inkan Loi Lab Designer, the Lekulaman the Oma, Bia Pnuya's Nusu. No one makes it Bia's Nus. El Rebelaza, according only Rebelaza. The less the Chasaka Kavasa, you don't look Rebelaza. Kidon Perakama, Perakabal Yvimtai. The common Rebelaz Menyakov, Hassan Rebelaz Menyakov says the following. Havlat Cholo, 
if the Kayin Gadol is with a, a non-Besula, the child will be a Cholol. No, it's not an Amana, a, a Pnuya. And it's just not his Nus, but he says the child will be a, 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 a Cholol. Here's what they asked. Now we're going to go through, guys, the Mehmet Sina about Stadim. Here's the question. Rabbi Shimon, Arroyos Yochiach, Arroyos will disprove you. Mal Arroyos, that after three generations is permitted, yet the first generation, second generation, the, the females also. I will ask Mal Arroyos, Shekin Karis, Cholol de Chayva Seh Yochiach. Oh, not Mamza, guys, not Mamza. But a cholol will disprove you. She'ein b'karis v'asura habas kiben. In other words, we know there's no karis there, and like Rebbe Lezer and Yaakov, there's a chiyav of the Charles of cholol. Malach cholol shekain yitzirase ba'avera l'fikach asay nekevis kisharim. That's why we didn't make a distinction because again there was an avera in creating kar because it wasn't a besula. So aroyus yechiach shein yitzirase ba'avera. The, the arroyas that was created is not Aveira. The also by Bito Raspinoi. So therefore, that was the Rabbonon's what? That was the Rabbonon's question on Shimon. So very good. So therefore, we're holding Rabbonon and have a question of Shimon. And therefore, a female, even though it's permitted after three generations, it's not permitted immediately because we have a question in Yaqab Khaim. Now, Rab Shimon said the following. Rab Shimon said, Loiki. And the meaning he retorts to that Kabbalah Chaimer, and then he says, I have a Kabbalah. My loiki, right? In other words, your truva is not a truva. Uma loiki, hachi kamalahu. Again, this Kabbalah Chaimer is predicated upon that you hold like Rebbe and Yaakov that the child's a chalo. What happens if you don't hold that way? So he goes, oh, Lidi, according to me, Rebbe Shimon, lay spherily Rebbe and Yaakov. I don't hold like Rebbe and Yaakov who says, but the child is a chalo. And therefore, I don't have your kavachayne. Lidetchu, according to you, who hold the child is a chalo, the sphere lechu kerev lezim and Yaakov, and therefore you have a, a you have a question on my kavachayne. Halacha ani oimer. I'm telling you a halacha. I'm telling you it's a mesayra halacha. Guys, do you have, you have a five minutes, a, a six minutes for a shmak piece of Torah? Any anyone's in a rush? Okay, good. But listen, listen to this. This is uh, it's based. On, it's 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 good. It's great shvuas Torah. It's really great Shavuos Taira. And, and it's based upon, to really appreciate it, it's, uh, it's uh, the reason I'm bringing it now is that it's because of, uh, we've learned many, many halachas. So going back in time, we ask the following question. Let's say a man dies, he leaves no children, and his child falls to his brother, and his brother happens to be a kind gadol. You know, Yavamis, Yavamis 101, right? Man dies, he's a Kayin, has no children, Yibum, Kun has Yibum, falls to the brother. The problem is the brother is the Kayin brother. So he says he has to give Chalitza, he can't do Yibum. So the Gemara asked the following question. You, ton of, you went ahead and you learned a carte blanche statement, whether the dead man consummated the marriage or didn't consummate the marriage, right? You can't do it. That's that's the question, okay? So Fred the Gemara Gavaldo Kasha, if you're going to tell me that he had consummated the marriage, so there's two there's a problem over here. You have the loisa say what? You have you have the loisa say, and you have an assay. So in other words, let the mitzvah say of yibum go ahead and 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 override that what the the, the loisa say and the assay. Now, now there's an assay over here. He has to take a basula. Right, he has to take a basula, and there's the okay, and the Samach Aleph Amir Aleph, guys. Samachal from Ralph, right? So it says the says the following. There's a love of marrying your sister-in-law, right? Eshesach. There's a mitzvah of Yibum. There's, okay, so now we know in the place of mitzvah Yibum that what we should say, Asei docholos Asei. We should say that Asei is docholos Asei, a lot. Good. Over here you have what? A din of, you have a din of, 
and I say as well, a besula leikach. So bishleima, if what if it's a, a beula, so ain't a say do chalosa say vase. But if you're telling me that what is from erisin, what is in the mitzvahs I say do chalosa say. So the Gemara said we said the goyzer be a rishayna ought to be a shnia. That we're worried the first mitzvah you would do, the first beer will be a mitzvah. The second one is not. In other words, we saw a Tysus and Nafchaf on the base that said the following. When a regular Yibum transpires, the man, there's no din of Asei Docholos. So say that's a din of Yibum. If it's a din al-Stachia of being Doichet Alav, in that case, you only get the Maka Mitzvah, and the Mitzvah is only the first beer. So the Kain Gadol, if he's boil his brother's wife, he won't be able to live her a second time, only the first time. So we're going to be a Rishayna to be a Shnia. Okay, so that, with that Hakdama, that we're going to be Rishayna to be a Shnia is a tremendous, tremendous piece of Torah over here. In the, in the Parsha of Rus, Rus is, is married to Machloin, and we see there's the concept of, of what's called leveret marriage. That even though, even though the fact that what that Boaz was the uncle, was the, was the uncle of, he wasn't even the uncle, I think he was a cousin. He was a cousin to, to Abimelech. There was a brother, Ploini Almoini was Abimelech's brother, was an uncle of Machloin. There was a concept of marrying the Mishpacha to keep the name alive. That was the concept of Yibum. And, it, and it's so when Rus comes back and we pass in Mayav Vilay Moavia, right? So therefore, there was a din of Adav, it was a good marriage. And Machloin, therefore, had every right for his, in, his closest relative to go ahead and do it. So what happened was, Ruth shows up. She presents this to, to she presents this to our to, to uh, Boaz. He said she lied down next to him. She uncovered his feet as a remnant lying down next to him. Either do chalitza or lie next to him and said do yibum. Either one. And he said you're right. He goes, but there's someone closer than me. So here's the conversation that takes place between the one that is closer to him. Vayom and Boaz. It's in Perik Dalit from Ruth. But, hey, vayom and Boaz. Biyom kinoischa sodem yad naomi. Go ahead. Today, you, you're you're going to get the soda from the hands of Nami. You mace with some avia, aishas hamace, right? La hakim shem hamace al nach lasay. So take his place, and you'll get the field and everything. By yom hagayel says the gayel, by uchal I can't do it. Why can't I do it? Pen ashkes es nach lasi, lest I destroy my nachla. Says Rashi, zari, I don't want the, 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 my, the reputation of my children. I don't want to destroy, right? Right? So he did not believe he did not believe this din of he, he didn't believe it he didn't believe it so he said he's going to destroy his children okay so so what does he say you do it I can't you do it I can't okay so this is the weirdest thing he's saying what Boyaz is the Godel Hadar. Boyaz is the Godel Hadar, the unequivocal Godel Hadar, clearly. And he's telling him, marry Rus the Moavia, meaning, I'm passing my Yavali Mavis. Says the Goyal, says, you know what? I can't do it. I'm worried about my children. I'm worried about my children. My Yavali right? So why was he worried about himself? <laughs> why was he only worried about his children? Why was he worried about himself? And Svetans, how can he argue what? On Boaz, what exactly is going on over here? So I give you the Marsha. I have it, I have it posted. Let me get it. The Marsha is underlined. Let's see a little underlined thing over here. Okay. Okay. Let me let me let me get. No, I have my notes. Guys, you can see this? 
Yeah. Okay. So let me, let me just have to make it smaller. Okay. Now let's start over here. All the questions that Doi asked, Lama Why didn't he well, Cain Venera? Why didn't he answer Venera He didn't answer any of, of the questions above called Kvud Basmel He didn't answer any of that Taira. Why? Because it was Allah Lamash Misinai. Amoni Vlamayavis, Mayovil and Mavias, Kidu Amar Kachmu Kublani. Okay, whatever it is that whatever, whether it's it's a svara, whether it's Allah Sinai, the bottom line is female Moyev can marry. Good. Now with this in mind, lesser and his helpers wanted to ask her. They didn't believe the Kabbalah. They didn't accept the Messiah. How's it possible that Boyaz, who is the Shofet Ivtsan, Avtsan, by Yeshafet Kal Yisrael, Kamashanim, he was the ruler of Kal Yisrael for many years, Kimafurish Bekra, Vyech Nasai Psule Akahal Berabin. How could he go ahead and marry a Psul? According to people, again, you see that it had been lost. How could he go ahead and marry Birabin? He took 10 people to Mefars him. So how could he do it? If it if there wasn't a Kabbalah on it, there wasn't a Messiah on it, how could he do it? The Goyal said to Boaz, I, I won't do it because I'm worried about what? Going ahead and destroying my Nachla. Upirish Rashi Sham, Lasse Spigam Bizaroi. I'm going to place the Begam in my children. Shinemar, Layova Yamoni Miyavi, Viton Amoni Blame Yamamis, Akana Shainai. Heich Mila Molo Leboy Ladabra came with Nebayas. Shall you shy for Yamav? How could he go ahead and say that? You're paskening to marry Mayavi Blame Yavis. I'm worried about my children. I'm disagreeing with your Psach. How was he able to disagree with the God Ladar? Who it here be fun of? Kimai Shakasov, Vyan Kanaiska, today you're going to get it. Aish Samesh, Kanisa Lakim Shema Mesh, as we just spoke at the Pussek. How can he argue on him? He said, Today go ahead, marry, get the field, it'll be yours, and you'll be making Shema Mesh, Mamish like Ibum. Gam Kasha, Shoya Chosh al Pagam Zaroi, Vlomo Loy Hoya Chosh al Issa Lav Gufe. Why was he worried about himself? If he held my Avi Moyavis, why wasn't he worried about himself? The first beer is one of a mitzvah, but the second one is not. That's the Gezeira. That's why the Kohen Gadol could not marry his brother's wife, even if she's what? Even if she's a Baula, where you just have the Isawad of, 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 of Loisase, because you worry about the second one. Again, because only if he comes out the Chia, only the first one's a mitzvah, not the second. to be a Shnia, the Asa, but the Kfara Kayim Asay, the Biri Shaina, because I fulfilled the Asay with the first Bia. The Yefsha, the Oz be made Boaz, guys, here's the Chiddush, possible in the days of Boaz, a Dayan Le Gazru al Kach. As of yet, they didn't make this Gezeira on the second Bia. For Huta Loi Bia Rishoina, the Mitzvah Yibum. They didn't say, don't do the first because you can't do the second. Do the first. The Asay Dochalos Asay. U Kamesha Kosova Mefarshim. The Din Yibum Nogu. Oz after Kroivim. That the din of Yibum applied to Kroivim. My brother in Lenny asked me this question that somebody asked him. This is not Yibum. By Rus, it wasn't Yibum. 
but you see that what I answered him from the Ramban, Kamashukas of Ramban, Pashas Vayeshev, Yehuda did Yibum with Tamar. I, Yehuda, was the father in law. So you see that the, there's a concept of the closest possible relative. And even if the Matan Torah, an uncle can marry an, an uncle can marry a niece. Okay, and so therefore, the Ploine Almoini was able to marry his niece, Rus. And certainly Boaz, who was, 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 was a, a more distant relative. Uchnisa Bracious Rabba. Therefore, the Goyal did not say it has to do with Mayavi Malavia. I agree with you, Mayavi Malavia. That Surah Litchai Sayyiv and Mishum is the Bia, that say the Yivim Doichlesa say, the Mayavis. I will tell you, Adava Al Pigam Hazera, the Hochen Achim Pesul. Guys, you know what he said? It's such a brilliant piece for the Marsha. You know why he's worried about his children and himself? Because he had a heta for himself. What was the heta? My avi my And he could have lived with her all the time because they weren't guys of Bia Vishrena to be a Shnia. In other words, they would have done one Bia and that would have been it. So he wasn't worried about himself. What was he worried about? He's worried about what? His children. That's why he said it's going to be a Bagam Mishpacha. The people are going to, are going to right? The whole Kanach of Sul. The key in the Hiya Surah, Love I Bekal, Shinshi's Asa, Belayibum, but now a whole Kamachrel, Lia is Psul in Bekal. In other words, you'd have the mitzvah of Yibam, but again, my avi loy You know, we know something. We know something that they don't know. What do we know? We know that the reason why Boaz wanted to permit the marriage was else. There's no, there's no dinner, there's no problem here whatsoever. Why? Because my avi loy The plenty of money. He held no. It had, it's a, a yibum dekadin. The asay doch lo sasay. The lo sasay of Amoni was there. The lo sasay of Moavi was there. Elama, I'm going to go ahead and have a bia. Uh, what was he worried about? He wasn't worried about, he was worried about the kusul and his children. Because if a child's born from that marriage, that child's going to be a puzzle. It's going to go after the kusul. So that was the conversation. He said, you, <laughs> so I have to worry about my children. But you don't. Why? I I won't destroy my children that I have already. So he was worried about children that he had already. And you might see last and then. All this bottom. Uh, Boaz did not invite Menoach to the parties that he made for his children. As a result, he lost all his children. As it says in, in, in Perikasvina. And this was the, the Das of Doyeg. This was the Das of Doyeg and his, his, his henchmen. Let me just make it a little bigger. Question, how could Doeg argue on Boaz? Boaz said, Praskin, my aviv la miavia. No, 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 no. They said that that Boaz married her, shall you shave it be Israel? Heine beheter are you de mitzvah yibum, ubi a rishina, this abra mi menu. Kid amin and the Boaz mace miad, he died right away. Acha be a rishina. The so guys, comes out. It's such a listen to this beautiful lumbus. Beautiful lumbus. What, what's our kasha? A few kashas. How could how could the he not believe the God of Ladar? The God of Ladar gave him Pesach, Mayavim, and Ravia. So how could he not listen to him? Secondly, how could he worry about his children not by himself? Third, how could Doeg disagree? If we had a Pesach already from generations, how could you go ahead what, and disagree? So it's, it comes out beautiful. They felt, Doeg and the Plony Almoni, they felt it wasn't a heter. It wasn't a heter of Mayav Vila They held it was a heter of Asei Do 
the mitzvahs say of Yibum, with doicha the loy sase, a loyovoi amoin. A loyovoi amoin and loyovoi bekal Hashem. Okay? Now, I, we, we know we don't do, I, we won't let a, a kind God will marry, a uh, kind God will marry because I say doicha loy sase, because it's only matter to be a shlishayna. They didn't make the gazera to be a shnea. They would have allowed the first bia, and that would have been it. So, if it's not a din in Mayavale Mayavi, it's a din in Yibum. So therefore, we can explain everyone's motive over here. I'm not arguing on you. I'm not arguing on you, uh, your, uh, the God Ladar Shaifate, because you never said Mayavale Mavia. All you told me was the mitzvah say of Yibum is the I say. Said the plenty of money to him and Shuldik, I got children. I have to worry. If I live with this woman, it's we make a question lineage on my whole mishpacha. You don't have any children. Unfortunately, all your children died. So you don't have anybody. So you can go ahead and live with her and everything is great. He did. He went ahead and he lived with her. He lived one night. He lived one night. In fact, people were said the reason he died was because he was over on the lava, Mavia, not realizing that what Hashem kept him alive. He was 98 years old. Hashem kept him alive for that one night. Okay? So now he marries her. She gets pregnant. He dies. What is every generation saying? Listen, there's never a head of Mayavi Vlamavia. It was only Asay do He didn't do an Aveira. He, was, he did the mitzvah, right? However, the child now is a Mayavia, and there is no head whatsoever. Comes generations later, you have the whole dialogue between Avner and, and Doeg. Says Doig, Mayavila Mavia, Mamsel Mamseres. Good, good. Until they went ahead and they said to the Bez and Shmuel Ramasi, no, 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 no. When Boyas did what he did, it wasn't a din in Yibum. It was a din in full heto. It had nothing to do with Yibum. It had everything to do well, with the fact that what? That Mayavi was allowed to chal Hashem. And that would answer why, why Doig would question it and why, in fact, the Psaq came differently. It's a beautiful. Based upon the Gemara Yavam, it's a beautiful explanation of a very difficult idea. Okay, thank you for listening, guys. Have a great day.